I was trying to get a hold of everybody here, make sure we, we're missing uh, one still, we the people, but it's all good. Oh, we're live. Cool, I'm gonna share this around on, on my Facebook a little bit and on, on, on our Twitter and all that good stuff as we get started here. All right. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll run here for about one, one, two minutes just so we can share around real quick and, and get everybody in here. Uh, I got a lot of groups. So I want to I want to share this, too, and, and make sure that, you know, everybody gets to to hear about what we're doing today. So uh, if you're if you're just jumping on with us, bear with us. We're, we're just getting started here. So if you guys are new to this platform, this is pretty cool. If you put your cursor over that eyeball on the screen, you can see where the views are coming from. So like right now, Andrew, oh, you got, yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing into uh, all my NFT groups right now, a couple of sales groups, a couple of us guys are in, cause I, I know they're super interested in in what's going on in the the NFT and the, in the crypto world. But yeah, this is a cool device. So make sure you guys like this and share it. If you're just jumping on, we uh, were giving away uh, a version one Solad today. So, um, you know, if, if you're regardless of what platform you're watching on, make sure you like it, share it and comment lads in, in the comments below. And, uh, you know, somebody's going to win one today and, and you're going to get to learn a lot for some real from some really awesome projects. So um, we're getting this link out. We're building it up. Uh, we're giving all the projects a chance to get on here. We're, we're still missing like one more project. But um, do us a favor. If you're new to crypto, uh, you know, comment crypto below. And, and that way, one of us will reach out to you after this and we can kind of hit you to what's going on and, and bring you up to speed. If you're a vet. And, and there's some deep questions you want me to ask, you know, some of these awesome projects that are up here, you know, fire away, you know, put them in the comments and I'll make sure we get them out there. Uh, and that way we can get the, you know, the solid fact. There's some really great projects that are here on stage. And, you know, I, I, full disclosure, any project that's on stage today, either I'm already invested in or I'm going to invest in myself. Uh, and, I, and I fully believe in these projects, but I'm not here to shill you these projects, right? So, um, Ask questions, you know, in the comments. Let me ask questions for you if you, if you want me to. And uh, you know, let's let, let's learn about these projects. And if they're good, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll all invest in them together and make some money, right? And I, I'm, like I said, I'm already invested in these, or these are projects I'm I'm in and hyped in. Um, so we, you know, I I'm super excited. And again, give me one more minute, guys, and we'll get started. I just want to make sure that everybody gets a fair chance to to hear about what we got going on today. And I, I see Daryl in the comments. I see Cody in the comments. I see uh, Finn in the comments. Great to see a lot of you guys here. Um, just to tell you a little bit about the projects that we got going on today. Um, you know, first we, who, who's, who's letting us use this software and kind of put this together. First time ever do anything on this for me is we have uh, Roger from the Whalemaker Dial and ETH project. So this is a cross chain uh, live ask me anything guys. So um, this is pretty awesome. You don't see this. And this is what the NFT world and the crypto world is all about. All of us grouping together, banding together, supporting each other, showing the public what's out there and then educating a little bit along the way. Um, so I, I'm super hyped about what we got going on here today and, and all these projects that are that are about to come on stage. Um, you know, we got only dice here. Who's a great Solana project. It lets you roll some dice, hang out with some friends. I'll let them tell it, tell about themselves. We have uh hot tsunami representing Vishfa an awesome, awesome play to earn game or actually win to earn game is what I'm going to call it on the uh, Solana blockchain. They're going to be filling you in there. And then, uh, you know, we're going to have we, the people, which is another great project on, on the, uh, on the poly chain. So we got a little bit of everybody here representing. And then, uh, obviously we got my project soul ads and, and we'll go last just to wrap it all up for you guys. So, uh, I, I'm super hyped about what we're going on, got going on here. And I, uh, I want to go ahead and, you know, just get started and, and, and let the projects get on stage and, and start telling a, a little bit about, about themselves. So, um, we, the people, are you guys on here yet? You guys make it on? I was gonna start with the uh, with the uh, the poly chain. All right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll okay. Now I can see everybody that's on here. The the view changed for me a little bit. So uh, no no we the people yet. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's get started with. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to start with the Solana chain first because then that, that makes my <laughs> I want to save my project for the end. I don't want to come over here and just hog the mic. 
Um, but Roger, you want to go ahead and fill everybody in on the Wheelmaker Dow? I know there's a, a lot of people from from the Soul Labs that are pretty interested since I've been dropping hints on it. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. Let's see here where to jump off from. I uh, give me one second here. So. Oh, good man. And if you guys got any questions, you know, drop them in the comments. I am uh, I'm following along here on Facebook. I'm uh, I'm also going to get our Twitter up here so I can follow along on Twitter too. And like this, reshare it, drop a lads in there. We're, we're going to give away a version one lad and we're going to announce our uh, our only dice winner too. We're giving away an only dice. We meant to give that away a couple days ago. Um, but now we're, you know, we're, we're going to give it away on here. We were trying, we were on in another one of these that they ran into some technical difficulties and, you know, it got canceled before we were able to give it away, but, uh, we're giving that away. So, um, you know, go to uh, the soul ads page on, on Twitter, soul ads, nft.com. Cool. Donald Trunk from the, uh, from the, uh, the, we, the people NFT just messaged me and said, he'll be on in five minutes. So we, like I said, there's a lot of awesome projects. Um, uh, everybody's getting on here. We're, we're live. Make sure you share this. Give your friends a chance to, you know, get one of these these free NFTs. You know, what we'll do is uh, when we when we start the Solana chain, I'll I'll I'll, I'll have uh, I'll have Aaron start going through and, and looking at our likes and shares, and then at the end we'll uh, we'll see everybody who commented, and and then we'll 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 announce you know who gave it away. And what's up, Ecstasy? Thank you for joining us. Um, that's our our awesome artist here at the at Soul Lads. Aaron should be jumping on any minute here. And when Roger's ready, just, you know, tell me to shut up, Roger, and you can go ahead and, uh, you know, start filling everybody in on the what, what is the whale maker down. I, I got some questions to fire away myself. So uh, I think you'll be a great one to, to kick it off for us. No problem. Like I said, I'm going to bounce around a little bit here. We've got a whole deck on our project, but I'm going to stick to a couple core core points so that we can um, have a conversation about this. In Wait. fact, let me go to who the hell I am first. Um, hey, that's me. So, hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, like we mentioned, this is kind of a new thing. We've got a ton of great projects on here. Um, we've got a couple of team. We're, we're broadcasting this out all over the place. Um, my name is Book Nerd. Uh, when I was born, uh, I think my parents gave me the name Roger. Uh, I, I've kind of lost that along the way. I am an NFT DJ and also an investor. I bought my first Bitcoin in 2013. Um, I've been heavily involved in the industry since 2017. I'm the former head of cryptocurrency at Equity Trust, which is a $27 billion financial services company. I'm the founder of Block Capital. Uh, founder of Results.io, and I'm a partner at IVC, which is Internet Ventures Crypto, which is one of the largest investors in the Web3 space. We just closed our first 70 or first fund with uh, 70 million dollars, and have made 54 investments um, since the first of the year. So we are looking to get involved in anything metaverse, P2E, um, GameFi, DeFi, all across that ecosystem. And I know we've got a lot of people on here talking today, so I will kind of just jump around. Um, I, I, got a, I got a quick question from you for you though, though, Roger. As somebody that actually comes from from the VC background, what what do you look for in particular when when you go into a project? So I, I think there, you know, there's a lot of people that are, are probably kind of fresh in the space, and you could probably give them a lot of inside knowledge. Yeah. So. It's a great question and it's, it's changed over time. So we were, I was a huge investor in 2017 and 18 through the ICO craze. And we learned a lot from that. Um, I had been investing earlier in that. So I was an early investor in HubSpot, an early investor in GoDaddy, uh, which have been two of my most successful investments. And today it is all about what is actually already in market. Um, the, we don't invest in ideas anymore. Uh, we don't invest in what's coming. We invest in what you have. Uh, often people will pitch us on these, these game platforms and we're like, well, let us know when we can send it to one of our guilds to play. And then we'll talk about investing. Um, we're typically looking to invest in equity or into in-game economic tokens. Um, we like to buy assets. We hold a massive amount of P2E assets and metaverse assets inside of our DAOs. 
And we look for those both as a ability to increase in value second, but first the ability to generate recurring revenue today. So focusing in on the guilds and DAOs that own assets that are cash generating model, that have cash generating models now, where we know for every dollar that we put in, how long it's going to take us to get that dollar back. Boom, I like that, man. And and it makes me feel good because that, that that's pretty much my general strategy overall when, when going into PD PDE games. So dang man, that, that makes me feel really good hearing that from a guy like you. Yeah, and, and our group is called the Whalemaker DAO. Um, and really what we are is we're a DAO of DAOs. So we've got different segments to the way that we invest. Uh, we invest in the DeFi space. Uh vacuum DAO is really a floor sweeper DAO. IDO DAO is putting money into in-game tokens. Uh, the GameFi sector DAO is investing in GameFi infrastructure, which is where you might see a lot of P2E assets. Uh, Empire DAO is our land DAO by Metaverse Land. Uh, we also have a guild, uh, Block Capital Guild. And across all of these different instruments, it allows us to build up portfolios uh, that generate uh, cash flows or generate attrition models that allow us to forecast where we're going to go and what we hope to accomplish. I like that, man. It sounds like you guys got your your hands in everything, and then you you got a specific group that's that's centrally focused on one thing, so you guys can you know stay ahead of the curve in in that particular aspect. Yeah, the Whalemaker DAO owns and controls all of the assets inside of these sub DAOs. It just allows us to create sector models um, so that we know what's performing and what's not without grouping too many things together in a way that we can't track. Uh, there's also one more called the Castle DAO. We're trying to buy a castle in Michigan. Um, it just launched recently, and it's part of a, a, an NFT project that we're involved in. So I don't put that one out here because it's not really an investment, but, like, really, who doesn't want to own a castle? Dude, that's awesome. I don't, I don't know if you remember, but remember there was that DAO that tried to buy the Constitution? Like, I, yes, I, I Constitution DAO. Yeah, we're good friends with the people over at Juicebox. Um, those guys are awesome. That's, that, that's pretty sweet, man. So – um, tell us a little more about, about Whalemaker DAO in, in particular, like, you know, how, how can somebody find you guys? How can they even get, how can they invest? What's the benefits of investing in the DAO? You know, how can, can we, can we learn a little bit about that? Yeah. And really what it comes down to is our secret sauce is our access. So being the founder of Block Capital, having been in the crypto space since 2013 and being a professional investor, uh, means that I have constant deal flow. I talk to anywhere from 12 to 15 potential projects a day. Uh, and that's basically all I do. Uh, also being a partner at Infinity Ventures Crypto, having their war chest and having all of the resources that come from that organization. Um, where people are always wanting to come work with us. And then results.io is our Web3 marketing company that has just absolutely exploded. So typically when we invest in a project, we also take over their community building and their go to market strategy. Uh, and that allows us to capitalize on the resources that we have, both financial and human capital, as well as the connections that we have. If we take on a project, we can introduce them to 10 to 20 other projects that they can do cross promotions, AMAs and giveaways with, um, which basically ensures a good, strong, organic community uh, and a lot of eyeballs on their project. Um, some of the most recent projects that we've participated in, uh, OP Games, Galaxy Cats, uh, YGG, uh, Simwin, and XY Finance, those are just a handful of the 50 some odd investments that we've made so far this year. And really, I'm going to go to, I'll just do two more slides. That's awesome. Sorry, I, I had uh, actually somebody that, that's uh, a pretty big influencer asked me to share this in their um in their DAO. And I was like, oh man, I want to make sure they, they hurry up and get in and learn a little about the the whale DAO. But I, I, I see the benefit of, of having all these connections, man, just because, and, and, and that's honestly what one thing that truly drew me just to, you know, full disclosure to everybody. I, I don't really invest in, in Ethereum projects because I hate the gas fees and like, it, it's just me, right? I, I feel like, man, I got to be right every single time. And I, I saw this and um, at first I was like, man, it's Ethereum. And then I, I started talking to Jordan. He's like, don't worry, bro, you're, you're gonna hold it forever, 18 years. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay. And, and, and then like, I, I met Roger and I was like, holy shit, you will own this for 18 years. And a lot of it was these connections. Cause I, I just, you know, it's not what you know, it's who you know and how you can leverage it. And, and learning this, just talking to Roger, it thrills me about this project. So I'm sorry to cut you off Roger, but 
Oh, no, I, no problem. Yeah, I, it really I, does. It, it all comes back to people in the end. And we've got an amazing team at the Whalemaker Dow. My partners are Kevin Harrington. He's got a $400 million net worth. He's one of the original sharks from Shark Tank, the creator of As Seen on TV, the creator of the infomercial. Like, you'll never meet a better marketer. Part of his team is Brandon Adams. He is a four time Emmy Award winning producer that helps put together a lot of the content that we do. Uh, Brian Harrington manages our launch pad where we incubate and launch new projects. And then Joel Kahn and Travis Wright are the guys from the Bad Crypto Podcast and the Nifty Show. They have one of the largest audiences in the NFT and crypto space. So just off of this, you've got the money, you've got the production, you've got the implementation, and then you've got the audience. And that has nothing to do with all the investments that we've made and the partnerships that we've established. And then when you come over to the results.io team, we've just crossed 55 employees. But you've got the former CFO for the Mayo Clinic, a lead strategist that has worked for five different governments. Our project manager has been in crypto since 2017. You can see we have a worldwide team specializing in technology and go-to-market strategies. So we just I, I am super blessed and proud to be able to work with all these amazing people. Um, and we're just we're just growing like wildfire across all of the different investments, marketing strategies that we're making, and then our own project. I never want to do a presentation without giving credit to the team because really no, that's the team of awesome. awesome. They do all the work. You know, it's uh, and I'll say the same thing about about Soleds, man. It's this, you know, it's the the guys behind the scenes that that really make it happen, right? Like I I might be the one out talking about what we're doing, but like it's, it's the behind the guys the scenes that guys that really do it. So no, I, I love that you go in their props, and I can tell you got a super strong team there. Yeah, and then our last slide, we always like to share performance uh, inside of the Dow. These are the first investments that we've made this year. Um, we've we put about $760,000 in capital at play. Um, our current book value on those investments is a little over 10 million. So we have $10 million in assets under management. Um, and we're really, I mean, just getting started. None of this existed like 90 days ago. Our marketing company really didn't exist 60 days ago. Now it has 55 employees. Web3 is exploding and you can either jump on and get your part of it. Real or quick, you can, you can if any of these projects on stage wanted to reach out to you about marketing, is there a good way for them to get a hold of you? Yeah, I, I love Telegram introductions. That's where our sales team and our project management team works on uh, net new conversations. Um, so, I mean, you can reach out to me on Twitter, on Discord, um, and actually, there's my cell phone number. You can just don't call. I don't like phone calls, but text me. And there's my email address, and we can figure out what we might be able to do together. Boom! Awesome. Thanks, man. I just know there. You know, I, I like to connect projects, right? Because uh, you know that's how we really grow the space. And like I said before, I think this is what it's really all about. And obviously, we want to educate the public and help the public and, and, and show them something solid to invest in. But if we can, you know, build together, let's you know, let's make sure everybody gets the opportunity. Yeah, and happy to answer any questions about anything I showed. Like I, I, I know now that there's a bunch of people on this call, so I want to take my turn and then pass it over to everybody else. But if anybody has any questions about anything that I shared that they want to throw up now or just in general, feel free to do that. Or we can jump on to the next project and see where this goes. Yeah, so, um, you know, but before we jump, you know, I, I would like you to, to fill people in on, you know, exactly how they can join the DAO and, you know, the, the cost of mint and how much longer they got to do it, all that good stuff. Yeah, um, Jordan, can we drop the link to our Discord in chat? Or you can go to whalemaker.io and you can get to everything from there. Yep, will do. And the best thing is always just jump over in our Discord, hang out with uh, our group and um, check out our alpha and see if it's something that works for you. Um, in order to invest in the DAO, you do have to own one of our whale sharks. Uh, you need to be part of our community to participate in the the, the full adventure uh and that's just the way we roll i like it that's how i roll too <laughs> i roll while you roll um no it's cool so what, what's the price uh, um to to mint a whale shark our alpha whale sharks are half an ethereum so there is a barrier to entry we did that on purpose dude it's uh, cheap right now though i mean ethereum's on a massive discount if we're being real yeah, I, I think the big thing was is that we got together as a group and decided that like, hey, we don't want, initially we didn't want 10,000 flippers and tire kickers coming in. We wanted 1,000 investors. So we priced it a little high. Uh, we put up a barrier to entry on purpose. It's worked out well for us. We've got an amazing group. 
A little over 200 of our whale sharks have been minted. Um, we've got a mastermind coming up in Miami, uh, March 29th and 30th. If anybody's in, interested in going and spending two days learning how to build a guild, uh, learning how to raise capital, learning how to launch a project, we'd be happy to have you. Uh, we just bought a football team, um, and we're going to be doing the uh, launch of the team there in the Sim One universe. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. No, I like it. And can you can you fill in how how it works with the fund over the eighteen years, and and then you know it gets liquidated, and and they you know everybody gets their cut and all that? Because I think that's a really interesting point to, to touch on before you know we uh, we hand off to because it, it was really attractive to me. Yeah, what we decided to do is I took a little bit of the VC style fund creation model where all of the assets that come into play um, are locked in our DAO uh, for the duration of our project, which is it expires on December 31st of the year 2040. So it's really designed for the 20 somethings, 30 somethings and 40 somethings to be part of their overall financial planning, retirement planning. And then during the year 2040, we'll start liquidating assets and buying back our token off of the open market. So you do have liquidity right out of the gate. Um, well, as of April with our IDO, so that you can move in and move out. But the true value, you buy a whale shark, you stake it, you get your monthly tokens, you restake those, and you watch as we put those that capital to work and making investments and growing our, our pool of underlying assets. Um, and our goal is to help people build wealth between now and 2040. Uh, that's not something you see often in the NFT space. You don't see people talking about more than I just got an alpha whitelist and I'm going to flip it during pre-reveal. So yeah. we've got a little bit more of a window of success modeled out in three days. No, I love hey, that. Uh, I'm a long-term player. And um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut somebody off. As long as you got a question. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, do, do you want to talk just real quick about the, the staking mechanism, the difference between the... Uh, I think that shark. Without, like, that's a little bit much for just like a general introduction call. I wasn't quite sure if I should go through sure. the whole deck or if we were trying to get everybody in on the, everything. So let's just, um, if you want to learn more about our staking mechanism, you can come over to our Discord and we've got a lot of FAQs. It's on our website. Our whole tokenomics model is on our website. That can get a little complicated without having the information on a slide in front of you. True, true. And we'll, we'll do more of these as everybody's down, right? And and, and keep sharing this and getting bigger and, and even get some more projects in here if, if everybody wants to do like a, a big, big cross-chain event. Uh, I wanted to keep this one kind of smaller, the, the four to five projects, just so we didn't take up too much of anybody's time. But uh, awesome. Does anybody have any any on stage have any questions for Roger that they want to fire away while we, while we got them here answering questions still? Boom. Well, thanks, Roger. And again, how long do people have to mint uh, the the whales before? Because I know you told her it's, it's about to wrap up, right? Yeah. In two days, we are going to lock minting of our alpha pass, which is our staking instrument. Um, we'll still continue to mint whale sharks, um, but they're just going to be a pass. They're not going to be something that generates uh, ongoing pod, which is our uh, in economy token. So you've got uh, about 36 hours left, well, like 12, 13, 14, 48-ish hours left. And then we're going to lock the contract on alpha pads forever, alpha, alpha passes, for, alpha nodes forever. Um, and then that'll be it. I like it, man. So, hey, you guys caught it just in time. Go check out the Whalemaker Dow, WhalemakerDow.io. Reach out to Roger. Reach out to his team. They'll help you out. I'll see you guys there because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad I met these guys last week because uh, I'm minting one, right? Um, and I, I love the long-term investment aspect of it. So thanks, thanks a lot, Roger. Uh, I, I appreciate it. And I appreciate you help putting all this together. Um, so uh, we're gonna go on to the next project here. If you uh, if you guys are new to this stream and you, you, you just caught it, make sure you follow Roger and and all the uh, all the other projects on here because they're they're all doing really awesome things. These are all projects that I'm either invested in myself or I'm going to mint one myself. So I I love them personally and I'm I'm long on them, right? Um. So also we're giving away a a V1 Soul Ad to to some lucky person here today. So uh, make sure you like this, share this, so your friends can too, and then comment, lads on whatever stream you're, you're watching this on and we'll go back afterwards and, and, and announce a winner on the, the, the at soul ads NFT page. So, uh, thanks a lot guys. Thanks again, Roger. 
uh, awesome project. I can't wait to get involved myself. Uh, Donald Trump, man, you on here for We the People yet? Did we get We the People yet? All right, I got, we're still waiting on We the People. I wanted to. Oh, We the People here. They're here. Um, can we pull him on on camera, Donald Trump? We the People. Oh, uh, he needs to be let in, Jordan. It looks like. We the People NFT. Boom. Hey. Oh, what up, God. homie? Big sales. What's up, bro? Oh man, just you know, sharing sharing knowledge with the world, sharing the the greatest projects in the game. I got I got the the biggest players that I know on stage today, and you know, all you guys, and it's awesome every time to 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 get up here with you guys and share our projects. Because like I've been telling people all day, these are projects that I'm either in or are going to be minting. So how you doing, homie? I'm good, man. I'm good. You know, running around, getting ready. Uh, but I, I, before I go any, any further into us, I wanted to say that that last project that I heard, I just got in here, the whale maker, um, you know, kudos to you guys. I love well thought out projects like, uh, like you guys and lads and, you know, things with long-term potential, you know, I, I think that we're doing people a disservice when we don't think about that. So kudos to you guys. Oh, for sure. So, uh, so you want me to go ahead, Andrew? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and go with you. Uh, so, just to fill everybody in on, on we the people, I they're a um, a project on the poly chain. I, I love the poly chain personally. You know, I, I've been invested in that since you know early summer, and um, you know, there, there's a, a, a it's a fresh NFT space too. So, I, I foresee a lot of money um, flowing into that space, right? So I, I'm look, I've been looking for projects to get involved. I met we, the people through a mutual friend. And as soon as I heard about it, I was hyped. And I was like, man, we got to partner up and start doing stuff. Cause I'm going to mint the shit out of these. So uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I got my whole community, you know, shared on it. They, they loved it. And I was like, man, I got to share with the rest of the world and, and keep doing these, ask me anything. So, um, with that being said, I, I want to pass it to we, the people, so they can tell you about how awesome they are. Yeah, man. Thank you again, sales bro. And, you know, as we continue to maneuver this, uh, you know, our public sale is going to be February 25th. And for those that get on the whitelist, which is still open, it's going to be the 21st. Um, before I go into anything um, regarding, you know, our utility, which is really what we center this uh, NFT around, is we wanted to, you know, kind of clarify, because we the people, obviously, it's very politically oriented, it seems, um, just based off the name and, and the theme. And, uh, you know, we wanted to make this built around unity and, and, you know, a commitment to it rather than the, you know, modern day back and forth between people, you know, we're, we're getting away from kind of, uh, you know, these communities that are close knit and we're kind of going at each other's throats. So we wanted this project to be something that not only was going to be a lucrative investment, but an opportunity for people to come together uh, and kind of make light of the political boundaries that are really set. Uh, you know, in today's modern world. So um, hey, man, a big source. And sorry ahead, to cut you off, but that, well, that's one thing I especially love about your project because it, it really represents what the blockchain and, and crypto space is all about to where this is, and I don't want to make this call political. I, I enjoy politics. I think it's fun. Some people, they, they get angry, but <laughs> you know, like this space is where the right and the left kind of come together to where like our ideals really truly mesh here. And yeah like that and present it to the public so i apologize for cutting you off but uh, i just wanted to share that no man no i appreciate it because it really is it, it like you said it, it the blockchain represents so much in terms of freedom and community um and and it really you know it, it's something that we should all be thankful for so um that's really a big inspiration uh behind it and another inspiration was we were seeing a lot of what you guys were seeing we we're seeing a lot of projects that had short-term um rug potential to you know be very blunt about it and it was happening frequently you know people would get into these nfts um they they promised the world and then nothing really happens they kind of they you know no structure roadmaps, very vague, um, a lot of white paper, a lot of NFTs without white papers, which was very fascinating to me. I, I never had seen, um, you know, such a large portion of uh, the crypto space be so vague. And I think we, we, were, we were kind of mesmerized by the artwork and we still have many, many artwork based NFTs, but we wanted to, you know, provide utility uh, with one of the fastest growing, um, you know, 
economic and social communities in the world, which would be the metaverse. So uh, we thought that that's probably the best way for us to move forward to provide value in the long term. Um, so we wanted to really, really put together a strategic plan to not only mint, uh, but to set up you know, our community for the long term. And these goals needed to be lofty in a way, but very reachable. So we didn't want to promise everybody that, uh, you know, it, we could do something that we couldn't deliver on. So we created a, a strategy that, um, you know, is going to be long lasting. So we didn't want this to end up like a lot of the NFTs right now, which are kind of like the altcoins from five, six years back where you see a big boom, a lot of hype, and then they're gone and people are left holding the bag. And uh, we didn't want that. So we're really incentivizing people getting early as well. Uh, and that really leads us to where we're going to be. We're going to be 2,500 donkeys, 2,500 elephants, man. I see sales is smiling and laughing because it's so funny, right? We got two characters in one, one collection. It's uh, awesome, we, no. <laughs> we got two characters in one collection, man. You know, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're incentivizing you to have both, which is another play on that unity. Um, that's going to be a part of the legislators collection. Now, the reason why we're incentivizing having both now, and I think sales is going to start smiling again, is because if you own a donkey and an elephant, then you're going to be able to receive an eagle airdrop free to your wallet. So now you're going to incentivize you know, trade. Just the- so I make sure I get one of each because I, I want the eagle so bad. Yeah, yo, and and you know what too, we're, uh, our artist is already working on some crazy artwork there for the eagle too. So uh, it's it's going to be fun in a lot of different ways. Now the eagle is going to give you the opportunity now to collect on the future, um, you know, drops that we're going to have, which would be stuff like the citizens collections, where we're going to release uh, in our you know our metaverse, which uh, will be obtained at 100% minted. We're going to buy around two hundred thousand, uh, you know, to two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of of land in the sandbox, which we believe to be one of the best utility um, metaverse um, projects for secondary economies and community building. So um, that's really a big part of our goal here. And we're, we're going to give 2% royalty based on the royalty that we'll be receiving from that collection, that citizens collection, um, for as long as someone will be holding that eagle. So the cool thing is, is with the United States of a metaverse, which is what we're calling our, our community, um, you're going to be able to have not only a legislator, which is going to allow you to vote on uh, laws, vote on how the money in the community treasury will be reinvested. Um, things that really involve the community. So it's not people behind the, the curtain, you know, pulling the strings and nobody has any say on it. So this really is going to be a community driven project. And we're incentivizing the legislators to get in early because you as a legislator will be in charge, so to speak, of the entire United States of the metaverse. So that's going to be a really, really cool aspect along with that royalty that's going to incentivize people to Dude, hold the we eagle. We get to play politics in the metaverse. That, that, that's, that's awesome to me. That's right, man. And you get to also own your own businesses, say, uh, you know, down the road in the citizens, you want to have your own uh, shop where you sell your own NFTs. Maybe you're an artist, you, you know, you, you have a storefront on the land that that we've purchased for our community rather than having to go out and buy a plot for 18,000 on the sandbox. So we're, we're really trying to make the metaverse accessible to as many people as possible. Um, our mints really very affordable too. Um, at around 100, we're pricing it. So during the time of mint, which is the 21st and the 25th, we're going to be close to $185 worth of Polygon, 190 to 200, uh, and 250 to 275 dollars for the public mint. Uh, obviously, Polygon's have been running like a madman for a little while, so uh, we wanted to make sure we um, tailored it perfectly during the time, so we don't really go uh, too far on anybody with that. So Polygon, no That's a super limited price for the value, though. To, to be honest, in, in like a you know a, blue, a, a future blue chip project like this, that's that's a great mint price. To be honest. I appreciate that, Andrew. And we really wanted to, like I said, we wanted to make sure that uh, those that got in early were rewarded for doing so. So we're not, we don't stand to make a whole lot of money off of this first drop, you know, because the the majority of it will be reinvested. Uh, But with that being said, we think that if we can allocate a lot of those funds to our community, rather than putting it in our pockets, then we can build something that isn't only lucrative for us, but in the long term, those who got in early and who stuck with us from the beginning. So that's that's a uh, just a, another way to kind of say thank you to, to people that, uh, you know, 
people like yourself that believed in us um, early on. So that's going to be really great. Now I'm going to share my screen here, guys. I want to kind of give you what we've got for our beta website. We're not fully functional right now, or well, we are fully functional. It's, it's a beautiful website, um, but we have a lot of different aspects that we're going to be adding. Um, we have a, a roadmap that's going to be uh, really visually pleasing. Uh, but right now we wanted to make sure that we got our uh, beta version of the website up for everybody to see. So I'm going to screen share that right here. Let me just see my, uh... can you see me? No, not yet. Hold I'm on. not seeing it yet. Unable to share screen permissions. Oh no. Does anybody okay, know about how that. to Yeah, let me try to let me try to help you out. Awesome. We're we're still figuring out this this, this app, but I I'm really liking it, man. Just how I easy. like this app. Yeah. I I like this app. It's like a cool, it's a Zoom alternative, really, and it's more interactive. I just wish I knew how to share my screen. It says it's something in my preferences on Google Chrome. But honestly, yeah, I, is there I, any I think it's on, yeah. Is there any way that I can uh, send the link in the chat or oh you, you got it already. So yeah, go ahead and, and press that link, guys. You don't need me to see it. You can scroll through. I do really suggest that um, you check out the white paper. Is there any way the host could go on and, and get the white paper and have that tab Certainly. sent? Yeah, that would be great. That you. white paper is our pride and joy, man. We we didn't sleep for a really long, long time putting this thing together. Um, it's going to be 20 pages worth of, of just uh, nothing but utility, man. And, and we put our heart and souls into it. And um, we wanted to make sure that it's something that not only – do we want other people to get behind? But if we saw it, we would want to get behind it, not only financially, but um, in an emotional way as well, because not that we're crying over it, but we want to feel like we're uh, connected to these projects that we, that we enter in. And, and uh, we're just so lucky that we were able to share it with you. We really are. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. I, I actually had some people uh, hit me up like, man, that project, that, that project is really cool. But they, they, um, I was telling them to, to go click the link on the white paper. They, um, I think it'll probably be easier than trying to have one of us share the screen and all that good stuff. Um, how, how well, anything else that the people need to know about, you know, getting minted, getting involved, joining your discord, anything they need to do to make the white list or anything like that to make sure they actually you know, get a piece of this? Sure, sure. Yeah. So our whitelist is going to be uh, it's it's open right now. You're going to get level 15 on our discord. Uh, like I said, we haven't really started our, our uh, marketing campaign just yet because we've we've added along a pretty solid lineup of, of celebrities. And, and at this point, we'd rather allow them to kind of unveil the thing to the world. So we've really been under marketed and, and for a reason. Um, so that, that's going to be a really good opportunity for people to get in that whitelist as well. So you get in the discord level 15, you'll automatically be uh, placed into the whitelist category during the presale. Uh, you're going to have 48 hours from February 21st at 6 PM Eastern time, uh, to mint two NFTs per wallet. So, um, two NFTs per wallet on your private sale, and then you're allowed 10 during the public sale. So a total of 12 if you're on the white list and a total of 10, if uh, you're just relying on the public sale. Nice. Nice. And, uh, you know, I, I, I love that you guys are, are, are building your community this way first before you're rolling out big marketing. Cause, cause one thing I, like I run a private group and, and you know, one thing I always say to them is like, man, if you're, if you're hearing about this stuff from like influencers and celebrities, you're, you're, you're late, right? Like, yeah. You, you want to hear about it on these calls where it's like your homie on Facebook reshared it. You jumped on and, and you heard Donald Trump talking and you're like, man, that, that guy's got a good project. You know, I'm going to go mint that. And like you, 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 you get one of the whitelist spots and you, and you start minting. So, um, you know, I, I love projects that, that build that community up first and, and then go, and then go out. And honestly, everybody on this call, it, it, it meets that criteria, which is awesome. You know, the whale maker dial, they, they've got a real tight knit community and you know, it's, it's, they got the barrier for of entry for a reason you guys are building right. And you know, all of the other projects talk about it, but I, I love that about you guys. So uh, I appreciate you joining us. Does anybody on stage have any questions for uh, we, the people while they're, while they're, they're chatting still. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks guys. And Hey, make sure you guys go jump in their discord, check out their white paper. It's their pride and joy. I never invest in anything without reading the white paper. So I, I love that a project's passionate about their white paper. 
Uh, again, Donald Trunk, we the people, we appreciate you guys jumping on and, and spending some time with us again. Yeah, man. Hey, and I want to let you guys know too, we're going to have um, a kind of like a doxing event too, where we, we show everybody, we show myself, we show uh, Donald Trunk. So I'm forefather Joe talking right now. Donald uh, oh, sorry, was unable bro. to be here. No, that's all right. Sales, he bro. It, listen, you haven't seen my face just yet, my man. You'll know when, when you see me, but uh, we've got some pretty low, well, not low key, but high key um, people that we've got on our team and we want to, you know, kind of keep them uh, under, under wraps before, um, you know, we have that event, but that event will take place during the mint. And uh, we really look forward to doing that and kind of connecting with you guys on another level. Awesome, bro. I can't wait. Let me know. I'll make sure we, you know, we get it out there and let everybody know when the, uh, the doc scene event is. Awesome. Thanks, brother. For sure, homie. Uh, awesome, guys. So uh, that was We The People. Again, make sure you follow We The People. Make sure you follow the Whalemaker Dow. Follow everybody on stage. If you're if you're just joining in, like whatever, like it on whatever platform you're watching on, share it, retweet it, and then comment lads below because we're going to be giving away a, uh, a version one lad when this is all over. And we'll, we'll announce the winner from our at so lads NFT uh, page on Twitter. So uh, make sure you're watching this. Make sure you share it so your friends got a chance to win one too because we really want to grow our community. And we these are all great projects that are, are dropping educational knowledge, right? While they're, while they're telling you about their project and they're telling you why they made their project and uh, how it's bringing value to the community. And those are the type of projects that are important to invest in. And that's why I wanted to put this together for everybody today. So um, thanks again, everybody. Uh, we're going to jump to this Solana chain, the chain that my project's on. Uh, and, you know, some projects that are, all these projects are near and dear to me. But, uh, you know, the, the, the Solana chain is my home. So, you know, that's where I, I be hanging out these days. So I, I'm, I'm jacked. I'm hyped to have all these projects on here, uh, and especially our Solana projects. We're going to kick it off with Vishva. And um, just because this is honestly one of the... Uh, the first projects I, I I whaled into on on the uh, on the Solana chain, and it was because my homie Hot Sinama, him and I've been chatting, you know, crypto and NFTs for a while now. And he's like, "Man, you gotta you gotta invest in this project." They uh, they they're the only, and he knew I was like super into PD at that time, and he was around, you know, was right, right, I don't know, I've been PD for a while, but like, I, I was hyped about it a long time ago. But um, he knew I was hyped about it, and he's like, "You gotta invest." They're the only uh, project on the on the Solana chain with a working demo pre-mint. And I was like, holy shit. Cause kind of how Roger was saying earlier, they look for stuff with working products. And, and like, that, that's what I do too. Or, or something that's like a, a quick timeline to a working product. And, and it, it's, it's just crazy. Cause a lot of these games can't even give you a real timeline. And like when I could go jump on and fly around a spaceship before they had mint, dude, I was like, I'm in, you know? And so I, I, I jumped into the project real quick. And at that time he didn't even work on the project. And, and, and you know, he was so passionate. He, he left his job and, and went all in and took a position working for the project. And that's the type of team I, I like to be invested in. And, and you know, that's the person I, I like to learn about the project from. So, uh, Hatsunama, thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm going to let you fill everybody in about Vishva. You're on, you're on mute, homie. Oh, the host had you. Jordan muted. There you go. <laughs> All right. So like you said, we're a win to earn metaverse um, game. So there's a lot of play to earn passive games that you can just kind of casually play and make money. This is going to be more focused on esports. So you're going to have to actually be good at this in order to succeed at it. Uh, we also have an open world metaverse that you can explore. There's an art gallery. There's a nightclub. There's a lot of big things coming with that. Um, we've got a casino coming soon as well. Um, we're doing property mint next. Uh, let's see right now you can actually go play the game without owning an NFT. Currently it's still free to play. If you don't hold the NFT, you just have to use the generic ship and the generic ape. Um, we have over 20 projects that we're partnered with, um, that you can use all as the avatars. We have a couple that are going to be full 3d. So uh, we're building the infrastructure right now so that everybody will be able to play their individual avatars, like as the ones that they own rather than just playing as a generic with everybody else. Um, we're doing a lot of big things. We're working with metaverse clothing projects for glasses and hats and shoes and all those different kinds of things. Um, let's see, is there anything I missed? Did I miss anything? Can you tell us a little bit more about the, how the wind earns going to go, go down? Cause I, I think that's a, a very interesting dynamic because everything else is play to earn. 
and I, I've been saying for a while, I think we're going to shift from play to earn to play and earn because there was a, like a massive overcompensation. Um, and then I think play to win is, is like the final shift. And I think you guys are like five steps ahead of the game right now. So if you could like explain that and like how gameplay is going to work and how people can get involved or, you know, betting and all that cool stuff. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so the win to earn is going to be right now you can go in and join and play and fight the space pirates and the leaderboard is going to be coming soon. So the leaderboard is going to be where everybody's going to make the most money. If you're on the top, you'll make the most. If you're on the bottom, you'll make the least or probably nothing. Um, and the esports, what comes with that is the ability to watch other people play and bet on the players, of course, because everybody likes to bet on any kind of sports, anything anybody's playing. And a lot of the younger kids now really enjoy watching other people play sports. And with this, you'll be able to watch them and learn other people's tactics, other people's ways of playing and maybe get better yourself, different things like that. So you'll have to play against other people, five versus five, one on one. You'll be playing against uh, NPCs. There'll be a lot of other different things. And then way in the future, we are I'm almost finished with the lore for the whole world. And we're going to be building on that to give you different little missions to be able to do on the planets here and there to be able to have a little passive wind earn kind of thing as well. Dude, that, that that's really, really cool. And I and I and I and I, I like the leaderboard aspect to where hey if you're at the top, you're 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 getting paid. If you're at the bottom, hey, you're playing for and fun. And you don't only have to play the game. Owning the ships gives you the ability to rent the ships to somebody else and make passive income. And we're going to try our best to reward people who are, I think I'm, I might be giving away too much alpha here, but we're going to try to reward people. Oh man, come on, that's when we come to these calls. Who have, uh, who have rented or can, can prove that they've rented or, or chosen to make a guild out of pe the, the best players. Um, let's let's just say that you can work together with the best players, and you guys will make more together. Like that, probably more than I should give away. <laughs> uh, all right. So, just to answer this one question: Can can me and the homies fly around together and you know start jacking people for their shit? Um, right now, there is multiplayer. We don't have shipsy multiplayer quite yet, but we're working on that. It'll be coming soon in one of the next couple updates. But yeah, you'll be able to fight each other. You, um, it's it would be open world, so eventually there will be um, hand to hand combat as well, and there will be long range weapons. So you'll be able to actually shoot planes out of the sky while you're standing on the planet. It'll be a lot of fun. Nice, nice. Uh, you, you got a screen share you can do to show us any in game play by any chance? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I gotta. This is is, is really cool. Oh, I gotta open some preferences real quick. Oh, good. Yeah, uh, if it looks like Roger was the first one to figure out how those preferences worked, because I can't get mine to, to share either. Uh, will not be able to record the contents of your screen until you quit and reopen. So I'll leave and come right back. Give me one second. All good. All good. But uh, yeah, guys, the uh, the end game of this is is really cool. And, and it's ahead of the curve for where we are right now in play to earn. You know, like a lot of these games are, 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 are like I, I, I say that we're, we're really in like the, the Nintendo phase, right? To where like over the summer, we were in that Pong phase to where it was like, oh, that's cool. I'm making some great money, um, you know, playing these games. But it, it wasn't the most fun thing. And then when I when I jumped on the, the, the Vishva demo for the first time, hey, Jordan, I think he's trying to get back in the room. Um, Got it. When I when I jumped on the Vishva demo for the first time, it was uh, it, it, it it was like, dude, this is actually fun to fly around and play. And like, I suck at game or games like that, and, and that's why I stopped playing Call of Duty. You talking shit. Uh, but then so the cool thing about this is like me, I got a lot of ships, and I got some good. You know, like I got a life to market. I watch it, and uh, I'll, I'll be able to make money. Out. And that's one thing why I love play to earn too, right? Because other people can make money and we can uh, our talents and what we have together. So I'll pass it back to Naima. Can you see me here? Oh, yeah. All right. So this is the landing page. You'll have to sign in with your wallet. Um, it doesn't take anything from you. You can read the little disclaimer. It's just a sign message just to prove that you own that. And then you can go into your inventory. If you don't have any of our avatars, like any of these in the background there, then you use the demo character here. 
the spacecrafts that you have, whichever ones you own, you'll be able to play with. Otherwise, you play with the default craft. And then the in-wallet NFTs, these are the partner projects. And then you can use the others and just kind of, it'll be a little picture when you fly around in your spacecraft rather than using an avatar. Um, there's multiplayer. So there's actually five people playing free roam right now. And I can join their server or I can make a new one. So we'll just go and do single player for now. This is really hard to play from my laptop, by the way, because I don't have a real mouse. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'll put you on the spot. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. So like he said, we've had a working game since before Mint, basically since the Discord came out. You've been able to fly around in a ship and shoot asteroids. And at this point, you can now fight the space pirates. You get your first shot. Oh, man, I'm going to die. Not going to make it. <laughs> hey, <homie. laughs> They've been working to you too hard. You've been playing the game, I guess. I haven't been playing as much as I should. Um, all right. So there's also a couple portals here. You oh, yeah. So in Mark Garland and the nightclub. The nightclub. And every time we do new avatar partners and we add a big group of avatars, we bring in all the partners and we have a whole bunch of people in here to party. I like and we it. Plan on doing um, little concerts and different things like that. Lots of big plans with. Uh, they're probably going to destroy my ship while I'm trying to run around and kill me. We also hey, let me know when I can come wrap in a nightclub. I'm down. Yeah, definitely. We're avatar. working with uh, several different NFT music projects that have artists, and we're going to do different shows and stuff like that. Um, in here, we have a bunch of art set up. We plan on doing lots of different things from in here. Our last mint with the last few hundred of our ships, uh, we actually were the first to do a mint from within the metaverse, as far as I'm aware. Um, I know for sure we're the first to do it on Solana. I'm not sure if anybody's done it on ETH or Polygon yet, but I'm pretty sure we were the first to do it. So we plan on doing other things with one-on-one -on -one artists, IRL artists, um, different mint projects that are going to come in, or art projects that are going to come in and mint from the art gallery. So you'll be able to do it all from right in the metaverse. That's uh, that's really cool, man. I know a, a couple of uh, Solad owners minted in the metaverse, and uh, it was the first time that I ever know of a, of a mint, especially in the Solana chain, going down in the metaverse. So I I, I was hyped, and I, I think for something I, I I fell asleep and missed it, and I didn't get the mint more than they so <laughs> always sniped the market. Um, real quick, how can everybody find you, and you know about what's the floor price right now to get in, and all that good stuff. Um, the floor price, I think, is relatively low at the moment. It is about 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6. Um, one, big thing, one big thing that is not priced into these NFTs is that you are actually holding eight separate NFTs. You're not holding just one. Right now, you can only just use one part of the NFT that you're holding. You can only use the spacecraft. But when we get the game a little more advanced and you can use all the different separate parts, you'll be able to trade that one FT in for eight NFTs and use them individually separately, pick and choose the best parts, sell the ones you don't want, all that different, rent them out, anything you'd like like that. Uh, you can find us on Magic Eden only, um, Vishva Space, Vishva Metaverse. Um, you can say it, Vishva, Vishvi, Vish. Um, Vishva is actually Sanskrit for universe or world. That's how we picked the name. Um, you can find us on Twitter right there at the bottom, Vishpa underscore space. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, um, I think our next AMA for our project is going to be on the 26th. We'll be on Twitter. Hey, uh, Roger was asking in the chat, did you say this has a, uh, has a, a guild function coming? Uh, yes, there will be guilds in the future. Yeah. Oh, dude, I, I love this game. And, and, and to be real, like, I got my bag, so I don't mind saying this. And I, I study scoop value. It, it's severely undervalued right now. And like I, I was looking at the, like I said, I always go through and look for stuff to scrape. And, there, you know, the, the rarities on, on these, are, there's commons, 
rares and, and legendaries. And like the rares have green, you know, little like icons on them. And then the, the legendaries have orange. Dude, there's some really good value on some rare ones. And that's all I'll say, right? Go find them yourself in the, uh, at that point. But if you, if you go through and scrape, man, you could you can put together a, a, a nice fleet for a, a small investment right now. And, uh, you know, I think this is another one of those 100 expert uh, potential projects. So uh, thanks again, homie. Anything else they need to know? The hardest thing in the NFT space is holding attention because everybody has ADD trying to get into the next whitelist or get liquidity for the next thing they got, they think is going to 10 X in three days. Like they were talking about earlier. Um, we peaked at three soul at one point and because it's, we're a small team taking our time, building something serious, people have lost their focus, which is pretty much all that's happened. We're okay with that because all the people that are still a part of our project that are still in like sales are still really excited because they know what is coming, what we're building, what we're doing, and that we're always there doing something. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. And, and I guess to kind of touch on what I said earlier, you guys are knowing those projects that you, you put the time and the money and the energy into developing the game, building the community, and, and you guys just started working on marketing, which, which is awesome because, like I said with you, if, if you hear about it through, like, major marketing, you're, you're late, which is cool. You can still make money. <laughs> But like, there's a lot of 100x opportunities on this stage today. So like, th this is a, a unique position if you're if you're a viewer watching this to to scoop up some good projects for cheap and you know see the people behind them. Um, so that, that that's really awesome, man. And uh, I know you guys are, are gonna crush it. Roger said he's buying a few right now. So like, if Roger's buying, man, you know it's a winner. Um, so that, that's awesome. I can't wait to shoot it up with Roger a little bit. <laughs> on there uh th thanks Hasunama man I appreciate you coming on Thank you. And, uh, thanks sir and showing us what's up with the game so um we're gonna keep it rolling on the Solana chain up next is a, a project to um, I'm really good friends with their dev team uh I think it's another hidden gem on the Solana chain for what they do is called only dice they got a really cool atmosphere and you know they let you come hang out and shoot some dice with your friends and maybe make some Solana um, but I'm going to let Lord Raven from Only Dice kind of kind of fill you in on, on what they do exactly. You might have to unmute Lord Raven, uh, Jordan. There we go. Is that I'm better? No, no worries. Thanks for having us on, guys. Yeah, we um, so yeah, we're Only Dice, and what we are is we're basically a smart contract on the Solana blockchain that lets you uh, roll dice. You can make bets from 0 0.05 all the way up to one soul. You pick three numbers, and then you roll a die. And if you pick the right number, then you win. Um, now, what's what's uh, this project that we made? Basically, what our main thing here is that we are able to white label our our uh, betting site, basically our casino, uh, for other projects and DAOs. Um, and what's interesting about that is that we offer a revenue, a, a, a profit split model with our white label partners. So our white label sites get to keep up to 45% of the fees that go through the site. So let's say um, you're a project, you're a DAO, and you'd like to raise some funds. Uh, this is a fun way for your community to, to be able to do so where they can maybe win some money, um, pick up some fees for your, you know, your favorite project. And, um, and yeah, and actually I, I have some examples here. I can share the screen. Yeah, let's see it, man. And, and I'm going to show you. Yeah, go ahead. I, said, I think that's really cool. As, as you know, I, we were a project that started with $0 marketing budget, right? And mm -hmm. uh, to know that our, our guys like to do this type of stuff anyway, then our girls like, like to hang out there and, and do that stuff any, anyways, the lads and ladettes. Um, it, it is cool, like a, a good way to, to raise some money and then let the DAO, you know, figure out how, how they want to, what they want to do with it, whether advancing it, redistribute the members and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's really interesting stuff. And, and the, the game that our guys, that our, our dev team has made is like amazing. It's incredible. It's so smooth. We have, um, we've got this racing, we've got our recent roles on the right side. So it shows you like what other people are doing, you know, wins and losses and all that. It tells you when people are logging in on the bottom right. And soon we're going to be adding a chat here on the left side. So you'll be able to talk to people maybe eventually get some kind of Twitch integration so people can play online with each other. This is our main site, right? So we built this thing in a way to be so simple that we can white label a, uh, a project site within 24 hours. And what we do is we basically take their theme, their brand, and we slap their logo all over it. We take their background, we take their theme colors, we take any, really, they can tell us however they want it and we'll customize the site. We'll customize the site for them. And check this out. So 
Um, one of the, I could one have of our partners, best marketing, but that sounds like free marketing to me. Yeah, let me show you this. So this is this is our site, right? Look what we did for Soul Chicks. We created a, a site for Soul Chicks. We put all of their logo, all of their look, branding, and theme. And when somebody comes to their site, connects their Phantom Wallet, and rolls, basically uh, they earn some of the fees. They earn a percentage of the fees. Dude, that is so awesome. I, I could totally see some lads there in the background and shit. I could see a lot of these projects <laughs> with their, their cool NFTs in the background. Yeah, it's really cool. So we have a day mode and a night mode for them. We put the, we, we built them a day mode and a night mode, two different backgrounds that they gave us. So our guys were uh, able to customize it and make them two different looks. We made one also for cyber cats. We just, we just launched this one. And we've also made one for bulldog billionaires. So as you can see, like the quality on our sites is really high. Um, we we have a we ask for a, a a small we ask for a setup fee and then we we have a tiered um, setup where basically the more volume that a site brings through, um, the higher the percent that they that they get to keep. So um, the more you promote, the more you earn. You know, so we kind of make it fair and we really we really built this out with a model where it makes sense for our partners to let us do the heavy lifting um, because we're sharing so much of the fees. They actually make almost as much as we do or more than the only dice team per site. We get some of the big overall pie. But um, but you can see that um, that um, these sites are made like with you know high quality vector files. The whole thing looks great and it's super smooth. Let me show you, so we can roll one time to show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, so I was hoping to see some rolling go down. Connect your wallet. You pick three numbers. Let's go with two, three, and four. I think that the number is going to be either two, three, and four. So I pick those. I'm going to hit roll. I'm going to approve it. You hear that sound effect? I'm going to go ahead and approve it. Ooh, unlucky. But that's basically the idea. That's how that's how this works. Um, let's go one more time. Screw it. I'm feeling lucky. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it back in a little Martin Gale. <laughs> Come on, baby. Ooh, Martin <laughs> fail. Oh, that's all right. So look, but they basically what we do is we're reaching out to projects and DAOs. We're looking for a way to raise funds and we're we're able to build them a white label site within 24 hours, depending on how fast their uh, team responds to us. Dude, but, that's um, a super quick turnaround. Man, these guys, Bulldog Billionaires, they're they're crushing it. They they started about two three days ago, and they've already they they're making like I don't know, they think they're making like three to four soul a day through the fees. That's three or four hundred bucks a day. Like, that compound, you know, that get that grows pretty quick if you think about it. And they're they they just started, so our our we pay out way higher than any um of the of our competitors. Like they pay maybe like twelve percent fees. Like our, we start at fifteen, and we boost you up through a tiered system. And now. It, let me show you something. I actually have this prepared too. I've got a PowerPoint really quick with just a couple slides on it. Check this out. Okay, so I wanted to show you this. So these are our tiers right here, right? So these are our white label tiers. Um, let's see if I can show, you, show the presentation. Might be a little better looking there. Here we go. So these are our white label tiers, um, and they're based on the daily average volume. So if you're you start at the bottom down here with the lower volume per day. And as your volume increases, your daily average volume increases, you make it into a higher bracket and keep more of the fees that come through. We charge four and a half percent on every bet. So you would make a percentage of that fee. So you'd make 15, 25, 35, or 45% of that four and a half percent fee. And we pay out weekly every Friday. Um, now, what's really cool about this, uh, what, what's really I know fact we have a lot of dials watching this, so I, I'd expect uh, to hear some people reaching out to you for at the end. Yeah, of the please, please do. We, we're working with, you know, we're open to working with anybody interested in creating a white label site. You're more than welcome to reach out to me through Twitter or on Discord. My, I'm, I'm at Lord Raven, or you can go through Twitter to at Only Dice eight 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 and check us out there and get in touch with me. Get in touch with anybody there and just ask for me, and we'll, we'll get you set up. We can have you running earning fees in as little as 24 hours. We've done it several times now. So now check this out. I wanted to show you guys this uh, this next slide here. Oh. So right here, it's just a quick a quick little uh, graph that shows you. It's the same tiers I just showed you a second ago, but look all the way on the right where it says break even. You can see that at our highest tier, our website paid itself in five days. We asked for a setup fee of 95 soul to recoup some costs and for ongoing development and blah, 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 all this other stuff. but. Basically, you recoup your fees within five days. At our at our mid tier of five hundred, you recoup it in twelve days. And at our lower, one of our lower tiers, it's about eighty four days for this site to pay for itself. And now you're generating passive income for your project, DAO. Um, you're an influencer. We can make you a site too. We'll make you your own a site for influencers. So we'll put all your branding and imaging on it, et cetera. And you can you can have your you know people play through your site as well. So um, 
basically that's that's how that works. And what's kind of interesting is we created so one last thing here. If you know of a project or of an influencer or a DAO who might be interested, we also we also created a um, a, a white label referral system. So you can earn up to nine and a half uh, soul based on the setup fee that we negotiate with people. So, you know, we, we set up some financing here and there with some of the guys to kind of do things on the back end, but we try to really, it's, it's kind of rare, but basically you can earn up to nine and a half soul for referring, just for referring over a, a, one of these projects to us, getting us in a group message, you know, something like that. Make sure the lead's a little warm, just check them out, make sure they're interested and, uh, and then connect us. And if we've closed the deal, boom, you get yourself nine and a half soul. It's kind of a cool deal to get the community involved as well. And we've got something else coming that's huge. We can't mention it yet. It's actually, we're going to release the information today on our channel. So if you guys are interested in hearing what's coming up. I know uh, what it is. Yeah, it's pretty huge. Uh, it's it's, it's gonna super be, huge. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be pretty massive. You probably had a little more you want to share right there. Oh, no, that's all. It's it's going to be massive, though. I mean, that the news that's coming out today is going to change the game. I mean, we're going to – we're overnight, we're going to – we're basically going to – I can't say I don't know how much I can say. We're gonna release it today, but um, we're, it's we're, a game we're, changer, and I, I yeah. know what it is, and uh, yeah. you know I, I know game changers in the space, and I I know their their specific you know niche within our space, and I, and kind of to revert back to something too that I wanted to touch on earlier while you were talking. You brought up the competition, right? Um, can we talk about real quick? Because uh, I know we have a lot of investors on this call too that that are probably interested in, in the NFT and and the capabilities because. Right, holding this NFT generates passive income too. I, I hold a few myself, and right. every Friday you get airdropped a portion of the profit. So basically, by holding one of these dice NFTs, you become a, a portion of the house. You know, the, and the house always wins. That's the beauty of it, right? Um, so uh, as an investor, there's a lot of value there, and and you're more dialed in on the competition, probably exactly what their floor price is right now. Mm -hmm. But can you share what the uh, competition's floor price is compared to only dice floor price? Oh, absolutely. So we consider our main competitor that we, we the only one we really can we consider our, our our true competitor is a uh, degen coin flip and their their price at the moment is about 100 soul our price is about seven soul and we are doing things that uh are frankly going to blow them out of the water we actually took we ended up taking one of their white label clients um, we made a white label site for soul checks this one here and i guess when they found out about it they weren't too happy so they came over to soul checks and pressed them they said hey uh we're exclusive. You can only you got to choose. It's them or us, right? And uh, Soul Chicks chose us, which is pretty impressive. Um, the uh, and it was based on the. I think it was based on like our teams, just the way we we do business and dealt with them. I think they liked our kind of customer service, and they also liked the quality of our sites. I mean, look at this thing; it's crazy. Plus, our payouts are like almost four times what our competitor offers you know, at the higher volumes and stuff. So like the deal is really good for someone. If you're a project who has like a good community, you got a strong community and you really, you, you know, you want to uh, raise some funds, having one of these sites as an option is great. Also, if you're developing, if you're, you guys have a project and you're developing a game, you're developing software, you're developing something about it and you, you need something in the meantime for your community to do or to feel like you guys are serious, I think having a site like this actually takes a lot of the heat off of development teams because the community looks at this and goes, okay, here's a community who's taking us seriously, investing in a real thing, and we're covered in the meantime. And while they're developing, suddenly your site comes out that looks like this with your branding and logo and all of your stuff, and it, it has a wow factor, you know? And it it would really, I mean, for me, I wish I had something like this while we were literally developing this because you know, um, you know how some uh, members can be a little bit uh, unfair, you know, in the, the when, when, when category. So ha having a, something like this is like a great way to blow some of that steam off, take some of that heat off and have something for your community and start earning fees from day one, you know, get some money rolling through your, into your treasury, et cetera. Yeah. That, that, that's amazing, man. And, you know, it, it's severely under, undervalued right now it, with the NFT at a floor price of, uh, of you know, about 10 salon or maybe it dipped a little bit overnight, but um, it's, you know, the DJ and coin flips over a hundred, like th this is another, you know, 10 X project with, with passive income rolled in. And that's why I to be real. I hold a few dice and reason being is I want to be able to sell, you know, when they're big, obviously, and take profit. But I, I always try to hold on to stuff that gives me passive income. And, um, you know, if I can have a piece of the house as passive income, especially on a project that's going to, you know, when they get to a hundred or so that the, the, those, uh, 
those, those weekly payouts are, are really going to add up. So uh, great, great, uh, great, great information there, guys. Um, so uh, anybody on stage, do you have a question, any questions for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, for uh, Lord Raven from, from Holy Dice? And I, I know I'll connect you and Hatsunama after this and Discord and stuff. Um, but, uh, but yeah, do, do you guys have any questions? No, no, it was well answered. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. And um, again, we have something coming out today where anybody, not just our holders, can make a lot of money. It's going to be lucrative as balls. We got something coming out today that there's nothing like it in crypto right now. I mean, no, well, I, there, maybe I, I in some places. I, just, I wish I could share it because it is that huge. And, and <laughs> I know. I wish I could share it too, bro. But Take it's, my money. Basically, you'll, you'll be able to make money with us. Let's just put it that way. It's the hint I can drop for, for now since we're releasing today anyway. I'm excited. I'm jumping in the Discord right now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, and I love the other projects, too. Well, DAO, you guys are huge. I love the gaming aspect. I love all the gaming in the in the metaverses and everything coming out. So you guys, like, everybody going, going out, you guys are swinging for the for the fences, and that's really cool to see. You know, it's not easy making games and all these other um, all these other metaverse plays and platforms. DAOs are complicated, too. Investment funds, managing all that, it's not easy either. So really cool stuff. I uh, would be curious to see. Uh, maybe we could make some sites for some of your guys somehow. Uh, Jordan awesome. for the whale deals. I don't know. Maybe maybe there'd be somebody interested. That'd be cool. Thanks, yeah, thanks that's why I, I wanted that deck. I was trying to I was trying to follow all that. That was uh that was some good stuff, man. Uh, I definitely yeah, want to check I'll that out. I'll make sure I connect everybody for sure. Perfect, uh, perfect. I think Thank there's you. a lot of good thanks, connections man. being made today, and that's the beauty of these AMAs. And uh, yeah. I, I'm telling you guys, this news that's dropping today is is just huge, huge, huge. Um, so. Uh, Rush up and grab a dice if you're liking it because it's going to drive the floor price up and, you know, you'll be able to make some money, more money, more money, more money. So we all like that. Uh, again, thank you to Only Dice and, and, and coming on here and, and sharing some some stuff with the project. Yeah, man, this is an exciting time and everybody here is in the right place. I feel like crypto is the way to go. Definitely. For sure. For sure. So, uh I guess that that leaves Soul Edge, right? Awesome. I uh, I get to wrap things up. And if you guys are, are new to the stream, make sure you follow everybody out here on stage, follow all the projects, like them, share them. Um, we're going to be giving away a version one lad after this. So make sure you, you like it, whatever platform you're on, retweet it, share it, and then comment lads below. And then we'll go through afterwards and we'll announce the winner of our, our version one lads on our Twitter uh, at Solads NFT. So make sure you check that out. Um, but anyways, Soul Ads, right? This is my project. Um, super passionate about it. The first NFT project I, I've ever launched and, and kind of what led me to launch it was, you know, I, I used to run a, uh, a group that was like a big mastermind that I charged for access to. It, and it was like 100 people. And then it turned into a, a hive mind that was invested in nodes and flipping them. And during the, the bear market, I got offered a, you know, 2018 bear market. I, I got offered a, a good deal to, to sell the group. So I sold the group and kind of moved on. And when this bear market, or sorry, when this bull market started, uh, you know, started up again, a bunch of guys in the group reached out to me and asked me to start a uh, another private group. And I'm passionate about personal development, education. You know, I, I do a, a chat every morning on Facebook called uh, Crypto and Coffee, right? And uh, there's people on all levels that jump into it. But uh, my my group, you know, we we got into Dot super early, and, and we got into uh, some other projects super early, and. At first, I was sleeping on NFTs, right? I thought they were just kind of dumb. And and then I, I got into play to earn and I, I got 180x on my first one in like six weeks. And I, I I started digging into the utility and realizing, wow, there's a lot you can really do with these. And, you know, eventually I was kind of like, hey, we know how to spot a, a good a good coin or, you know, crypto or token. Um, we know how to spot a good, a good NFT project. Why don't we just take all that and, and build our own? And that's how Solads came into existence. So what Solads is, each lad and our, our V1 lad, like the one we're giving away today, gives everybody, gives an investor fractionalized ownership over blue chip NFTs. You know, NFTs that are anywhere from 30 to 100 Solana. And we we, we buy these NFTs, we flip them, and then quarterly we, we airdrop profits on holders. And and, and we got a lot of a lot, a lot of profits. Honestly, start not only a month in. You know, we we uh, got our, we bought two Degen apes at 30 Solana 
flip one at 69 Solana not too long ago. Uh, we just got a, a Soul Army pass at 35. They're at like 74. They touched 100 yesterday. I think that's severely undervalued still. Uh, we got a lot of Vishva in our vault, right? That, that's severely undervalued. Uh, we got some only dice in our vault. That's severely undervalued. We'll probably, we we're cross chain two of our vault, so we'll probably scoop up some other people. And uh, I wish, uh, and I wish we could probably get some ETH for the vault, but I don't think that's gonna happen to be real. But um, anyways, we, we airdrop on holders with with this, you know, uh, quarterly in this fund with uh, the, the the profits from fractionalized blue chip NFTs. And when we brought this product to market. You know, we wanted to run like a business because uh, like everybody else has said on stage, uh, the weaknesses and a lot of these NFT projects is like, yeah, they got a great dev team, a great artist, but they don't operate like a business and, and they, they just they destroy it. And, and so we came in with that business mindset and, and the, the utility was the whole thing. So, we, you know, we just rushed the art to market and we wanted to reward our, our community with, uh, with, with some, some cooler artwork. So we dropped the V2 lads. And it was just going to be artwork, but I'm all about utility. And, and we had some Solana set away for a giveaway and it's going to go to like 50 people. And I was like, well, instead of doing that for the giveaway, let's use that to fund the, uh, the, Sol or the, uh, the Solads V2s and we'll make that the inverse fund. And so with the Solad V2s, we mint in whale-like proportions, do a quick flip, hold one or two for a mean moonshot, flip those at the top. And same thing, they get airdrop profits quarterly. So we, we essentially created money out of thin air for our holders. You know, we gave them some uh, free NFTs that had a, had a whole new utility and they're going to get quarterly payments off that too. So um, I was hyped about that. Well, I've always been passionate about, not always, but you know, since it's been around, I, I've been passionate about play to earn and uh, wanted to have a play to earn game. And so I, I, was, I was wrapping my mind around it and I was like, hey, you know, like I collect board games why don't we make the the play to earn board games you know and that's going to be us so we, we came up with the game ladopoly and what it is is everybody's favorite game monopoly but with crypto right and the coolest part of this is we're, we're minting these game boards we had our private mint yesterday for our, our holders we mint it out in two minutes um but we we have our pri well, we go public with our whitelist and public sale and everybody who mints a, a game board nft is going to receive a replica board that they can play on in real life because we're going to be licensed by Hasbro. Yep, you heard that right. We're going to be licensed by Hasbro, one of the biggest game developers in the world, and, and they're, they're going to be making these boards. So everybody who mints uh, an NFT game board is going to get an, a, a, a board in real life. So um, I now that you guys kind of know what, what we do at Solads, I, I do have a little uh, presentation I want to share on my screen here. So let me go ahead and get my screen share up. Do you guys see my screen? No. I'm still looking at you. Hmm. Saying is sharing on mine. That's really weird. Give me two seconds, everybody. I apologize. What was the trick? I feel like uh <laughs> was the Hatsunama did did he he jumped off and came back on? Yeah, yeah it, I had to change the settings for the browser, and then I had to close the browser and reopen it after I changed the settings for them to take place. So it's uh, it's, it's for me. It's not saying that it's saying that it's sharing on my end. It's not saying that I can't do it. Um, maybe the host, like how you had us muted, Jordan. Do you have him? I don't know his screen share off. Yeah, the only thing I could think yeah. of. What uh, yeah. what settings did you change the the share it? Um, it well, I didn't up. change. Yeah, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't I didn't do anything. But I remember Hasamoto and there was uh, I remember Roger. He had to like get on and come back on. I'm gonna leave and come back just to see if it changes anything. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Well, since uh, <laughs> since he stepped away for a second, I totally forgot to mention something about our project. Yeah, kind of a big deal. So, if you hold one of our, we only have eight hundred and seventy-eight dice that we made. We're going to make eight eighty-eight total. Um, if you hold one of our dice, we share seventy-two percent of the profit from the casino with our dice holders. Oh wow! I was just reading that. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. So if you hold our dice, you're now a, you now own a casino. Yeah, that's huge. 
That's a lot. That's badass. Yeah, bro. And so, you, so, so this, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you thing? guys planning on doing any like um metaverse? I, I don't want to say physical casino, but I guess digitally we've, physical we've, casino we've, more than <laughs> totally. website. We've been we've been asked. It's like the first one of the first questions always pops up. They're like, hey, so let's go 3D, right? <laughs> like, when are we going? When are we? When are we taking this all the way in? And we're, we're it's a great idea. We're, we've, we're like, shoot, we should totally do that at some point. Right now, we kind of uh, we went with like a, a sort of a strategy, right? Of um, mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you what. The reason I even created this, like in the first place, or we we came up with it and the team kind of built and everything was, we were looking for ways for projects to just raise money. Like we were like, hey, how can we um. What can we do? What can we do? How can we raise some funds? What's a fun way to do it? Um, and this was one of the ideas that we came up with. And uh, we also saw another project I had been making. I had actually, before this, I created an auction house and uh, an NFT auction house. And then uh, we were doing games there. And we were trying to figure out if we could take the games and run with it and do something else. And this is kind of what came from that. It's kind of a crazy idea. So if you guys, you can get our NFTs on Magic Eden, uh, only dice on Magic Eden. Awesome, bro. Yeah, and I forgot to tell people that I'm back. Can you guys see my screen now? I can see you. Yeah, we got you, dude. We can hear you, too. You can see the screen, too? No, just no. you. Oh, no, just you. You guys are so weird on my end is saying that it's, it's sharing the screen. So, hey, all good. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna wait, wait, wait too long, and and uh, you know make people wait while we figure this out. So I'll just kind of run through it and, and give people the basic breakdown of, of Ladopoly and and why we brought it together. So uh, Ladopoly, like I was saying before, is the the remix on everybody's classic favorite board game Monopoly, right? And we just wanted a place for the the lads to come play together and, and a chance to uh, earn some extra income. Now the beauty of this game is. There, there's a lot of benefits of holding lads, which I won't get into right now, but there's in-game advantage advantages to holding lads as far as like they'll get an extra dice roll, extra property, some lad token, which will be our native currency, will be airdropped on lad holders. So if you're serious about playing this game, scoop up some lads while they're cheap because our, our floor price isn't bad. It's like four Solana on our V2 and like 1.5 on our V1. So uh, there's a lot of value in in holding lads in, in, you know, in, our, in our game versus what I like to call it. So how does it work, guys? Right. So uh, just like Monopoly, right? Players roll. They move around a board. When they land on a property they don't own, they got to pay rent, you know, and, and people are like, well, I don't want to pay rent. Well, you have to roll at least once a day. Otherwise, you, you're going to be locked out. And you're going to lose your, your rent share from properties you own, which I'll tell you about in a second, and, and what you make from staking. Now, the other big benefit of rolling is just like Monopoly, every time you pass go, you're going to earn lag coin. And the, the higher level up you go, the more times you go around the board, the higher level is going to be, the more lag coin you're going to earn going around the board. So you can literally make money, play Monopoly like you, you used to when you are a kid, but not, now you get to make real money doing it. So our supply for our game board NFTs, we're going to have uh, 3,000 Lidopoly boards. And like I was saying before, we're, uh, we're going to be officially licensed by Hasbro. So Anybody who mints an NFT game board is going to receive a replica board in the mail that you can play on in real life. And shit, if you guys want to gamble some real money, I'll come to your house and we'll play with cash. Uh, so I'm hyped about that. I think that's one of the coolest things about our project, right? Uh, it's an NFT where you can mint and, and actually get something, you know, physical with your NFT, which I think is huge. Um, our utilities, right? So there, there's a lot of utilities that are tied into our game board NFT outside of the, the utility of, you know, our, our soul edge. So where our first thing is, is something called binding utility. Anyone who mints one of these NFT game boards is going to receive 5% of every sale on that NFT in the future. So for example, if, if I mint it and I sell it to Roger and a year later, Roger sells this NFT to Jordan, 5%, five for 100, 100 Solana, let's say he sells it to Jordan for 100 Solana a year later. Well, five Solana, 5% 5 is going to end up in my wallet for my 5% of the sale. So binding utility is really cool. I'm kind of hyped about it. Uh, the second utility is if you remember the ever playing Monopoly, there's in-game taxes, right? Well, 50% of those taxes is going to go to board holders monthly. Uh, so, you know, passive income. Again, I'm real big about passive income. Third utility is there's a 3% royalty on all NFT game board sales. So if somebody sells an NFT on the uh, game board on the secondary market, it goes back to holders. Then there's also a 5% royalty on all NFT property sales. So kind of how I like to explain, explain it is 
anybody who has a game board NFT is it's essentially like owning land in our game verse. Owning a board is like owning, you know, everybody plays on the same big board essentially, but owning an NFT game board is like owning a small piece of that board. Well, just like Monopoly, people are able to own properties on that board. So people that are able to mint properties will end up, uh, you know, selling them this or that. And since you own the land in our game verse, 5% of the, those sales are going to go back to you. Now, also board holders are going to be airdrop 50 lag token. Um, that's a big benefit there. Board holders are going to be airdrop one free property as well. Now, one other really cool thing is uh, you guys won't be able to see our in-game still shots right now because I, I can't share the screen, but they're, they're all over our, our social media. But we'll have advertising space. And uh, that's one of the coolest utilities I think a lot of people are sleeping on with these game boards is 50% of advertising sales every month are going to go to game board holders and they'll be divided amongst you know the, the game board holders. So those are our utilities and I, I think they're pretty huge. Um, the mint cost is uh, three Solana. You know, that gets you the game board, everything, all that good stuff. Uh, we did do a private sale that had a small discount on it yesterday. It minted out in two minutes. Some people felt like they missed out. I, I don't think we're going to be able to do another one, to be honest. So uh, three Solanas, where, where it's going to be at to mint That's in. crazy, man. Two minutes. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty it's insane. <laughs> Dude, they were excited, man. It was at 8 a.m. Central time, too. So they were up, ready to go. One guy called his, his boss and told him he was coming to work an hour late. <laughs> <laughs> But when will that 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 sale was for not the boards but the properties? I'm no, that, that that was for game boards. We uh we did a small okay for okay for exclusive to our lad holders. That was uh it, for game boards. Um, and so what it, was the discount on that private sale? It was uh, it was fifty percent off. So there, there were okay. only wow. only fifty boards minted. Um, so the, the okay. majority of the supply is still there. Um, so okay. I want to, I want to, I want to touch on, on our tokenomics real quick there for the, the, the lad token there, uh, there is no max supply, but we have a lot of burn mechanisms in play, which I'll share in a second to make sure you, we are actually going to end up probably deflationary, um, tokens will be That's very Ethereum of you. <laughs> I know, right. <laughs> hey, I think Ethereum is ran by the brightest minds in crypto. I just, those gas fees, man. I just don't like that punch in the jaw every time yeah. I move. <laughs> yeah. For sure. But, uh, you know, we uh, our tokens will be generated through gameplay and by staking property, which I'll, I'll get into in a second. Um, our token will be listed at, at one dollar per lag coin, U.S. dollar. And then we'll have 600 Solano locked in liquidity. So you'll know there will always be, um, you know, pretty, plenty of liquidity there. Um, fifty dollar or fifty lag coins are going to be airdropped on all board holders. When people are now, when people land on on squares they don't own and have to pay rent, twenty five percent of that rent is going to be burned, taken out of existence. Twenty five percent will go to a jackpot, what I'll tell you about in a second, and fifty percent will go back to property holders, the people that own those actual properties that are on the board. Um, there's the tax spots I was telling you about. Fifty percent of those tax spaces are going to be burned, taken out of existence forever. Um, twenty five percent will go to board holders, and twenty five will go to the jackpot that I'm going to tell you about. Um, remember that, that space on Monopoly that was like, go to jail, don't pass go. Well, we got that too. Uh, for us, it's called rug though, right? Cause that's what happens in the crypto space. Uh, if you get rug, the jackpot's burnt and nobody gets a shot at it. And, and those tokens are burnt. <laughs> so that, that's another burn mechanism. Also when people are buying property, so the, the boards are minted and there's also properties which can be bought and, you know, on the board, uh, when people buy properties, they'll buy them in, in card packs, which I'll explain in a second those tokens are burned. So a lot of tokens are going to go out of existence. Um, and even though there is no max supply, uh, by my calculations, we should roll between a 30 and a 49% burn rate. So uh, we're doing great there. And one thing I'd love to highlight is the team will be keeping zero LAD tokens. So uh, you don't got to worry about us just, you know, selling off when it, when it runs up, right? We got to make money. I, I like to highlight that for us. Um, Bear jail. I told you about that. You land on rug, you go there, you're, you're stuck in bear jail. Our, our jackpot's really cool though, right? So when I played Monopoly growing up, if you landed on free parking, you know, we always put 500 bucks in it and, you know, the person you landed there took it. But with us, we're going to have it coded in to where there's always 200 spots and 250 lag coin on, on the free parking spot. For us, we call it the, the moon jackpot. 
25% of all rent that's paid from somebody lands on a, a property they don't own, it goes to the moon jackpot. 50% of utilities go to the moon jackpot. And um, anybody who lands on it, they get to take that money. So it's going to be a rolling jackpot that people will be able to, to win when they land on. Now, 5% of every jackpot goes to the dev team. And it's, whether it's burned or not, and it's not because we're trying to get rich off the game. It's actually to keep the game rolling because a, a big attraction of this game is we're going to give away a blue chip every NFT every single week. So uh, we're, we have a fund dedicated to do that. And we're going to keep, you know, pushing you know that to that fund based on, you know, the money that goes to the dev team here. Um, so week one, whoever goes around the board the most times is going to win a Degenerate Ape Academy NFT, which is probably valued around like 45 or 50 Solana right now. So uh major draw wow. to the game right there yeah I, I can't wait to start giving those away that's no, wild. it is man I, I, i'm jack man and, and a lot of people are going to be hyped to play this game and i always say it's going to bring people in because you know people will will gamble 70 solana to try to win a free 60 solana nft um so there'll always be players <laughs> <laughs> interested in, in, in playing our game you're leveraging the degens i'm a degen <laughs> i'm gonna do it uh, <laughs> but uh so properties right there they're they're nfts also the game boards are nfts like the the game boards are like owning land and our game boards uh, our game verse each game board is like owning a small piece of the the big game board everybody plays on but people playing the game are, are going to have properties on that game board and they'll there'll be a large amount of properties available we haven't release the 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 amount of, of properties available prior just because we don't want people kind of game to manipulate the system um but properties are nfts that are ownable tradable sellable and stakeable so if you own an nft you can stake it and you'll make rent 50 percent of the rent paid to that property that you own that staked goes to you every single day as long as you roll once a day Reason being is we have to keep our in-game economy flowing. I, I've been very dialed in to play to earn, and it's very important to have the the play, have the in-game economy flowing. And this game's designed to where you have to roll once a day to keep the game flowing. Because we can't just give you free money, right? You got to be able to, you have to spend some of it in the game. Um, now, the other way outside of rent share is that you also make prop make uh you make lag coin by staking your properties on the blockchain. So you'll get your rent share. But then just by staking a property, you're also going to earn lag coin based on the rarity of it. So like the 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 boardwalk in our game verse is called Crypto Ain't Easy. And, and that one's going to you know earn you a lot more than those shitty properties that are right past go. Uh, so that's how properties work. And I'll, I'll take questions here at the at the end. When people buy properties, they're going to buy card packs. Kind of how would you buy like baseball cards, magic cards, Marvel cards when you're a kid? Yeah, you buy the cards, you don't know what you get, you open them and you'll get different, you know, you'll get different properties. But we'll have packs that'll have levels based on rarity. So one's, one's called uh, gold. If you buy a gold pack, you get three cards and one's guaranteed to be gold level rarity. The other two could be whatever, you don't know. So it, 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 there's a lot of random randomization there with it. Um, advertising, I want to touch on again. I, I think it's one of the true values here because based by, on my calculations, where we should be in one year, our, our advertising should be bringing in about 40,000 a month. So that's 20,000 a month going, going straight back to board holders. So it's, uh, you know, you're basically by owning the board, like I said, you're, you're owning a piece of our game verse and, and you know, you're, you're creating passive income for yourself. Um, we'll have a whitelist coming up. We actually start marketing next week. We pulled the trigger and we're going with uh, crowd create for anybody following along they brought Star Atlas to market. And, you know, I, I was I, I was hyped about Star Atlas. Jordan's hyped about Star Atlas. But shit, they don't even have a game. I can't tell you when there's going to be a game. We can tell you a few weeks after we're going to have a game. Um, so we're going to take that hype. We're going to take the hard work that they used and, and we're going to bring it to market. Uh, and and we're, we're, we're just blasting a, a big marketing budget in this, you know, next week to start getting things rolling. So um, you're going to see that spill over into the lab floor and drive it up. So I, I can't say enough. If you're if you're thinking about you know jumping on this project and you know really trying to play this game, grab your lads now before our marketing starts up because when it kicks up, it, it's gonna kick up. Um, so that's right, baby, the lads. Damn right, baby. So that that's uh that that's the game, right, guys? I don't want to take too much time and and, and you know uh and, and 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 you know talk everybody's ear off. But does anybody on stage have any questions before we we wrap this thing up? No, you woke so up. You're, I was kind of worried about them wanting to hold the tokens and not just selling them all the time. But you have a, you sound like you have a pretty good system to keep them rolling in. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, you have to roll once a day. And if you don't roll once every 24 hours, you, you lose your, your rent share and then you, you everything that you're, you know, you don't make any money staking. So it's, uh, it, it's, it, it's a, it's a, um, there's a lot, there's a, there's a structure of the in-game economy to keep things flowing, but, uh, you know, people, it's designed to where people who, who get in early and, you know, are early investors for the price of lag coin, you know, skyrockets are, are going to make between, you know, one and 300 a day. So badass, man. So if, if you're a lad holder, um, what are you getting airdropped? So if you're if you're a lad holder, it's based on the version you hold, right? So if you're if you okay. hold a V1 lad, you're gonna be airdropped 50 lad tokens. If you own okay. a V2 lad, you're gonna be airdropped uh, a free property. Now the other big benefit of being a having a V2 lad is that you get a 10% discount on property packs. So if you're gonna be aping yeah. in buying a bunch of property packs with your board, you want the V2 lad so you can you know you can save money long term. Nice. And then, and then, what's the mint price uh, on the public sale of a board? The public sale price will be three Solana. Okay, awesome. For sure, for sure. So, uh, awesome, man. Uh, it looks like you know we we got everything all wrapped up. I appreciate everybody for coming on today. All these awesome projects: the uh, the Whale Maker DAO, Vishva, Only Dice, We the People. Thank you guys. Make sure you follow everybody, and then we'll announce our giveaway on Twitter here shortly. Peace out, guys. Hey, guys, it was a pleasure. Take care. For sure, for sure.